name of the game is poker. Enjoy it while it lasts, kid. Yes. And now the sensation sweeping the world has arrived. The Asia Pacific Poker Tour. We are once again in Macau, China, and the final table of the main event. Yes! Wow. Seven players still remain in the quest for the title and a piece of poker history. And one question is on everyone's mind. Can anyone stop chip leader Din Lee? Champion. Tonight, we will crown a champion, and to the victor will go the spoils. Over 200,000 US dollars. Come on. Go for it. The stage is set. Oh, yes! The stakes are huge. This is the Asia Pacific yes. Poker Tour. Yeah. Welcome once again to Macau and the Grand Waldo Hotel and Casino, home to China's first ever international poker tournament. 352 men and women came to be a part of poker history. After the shocking elimination of 2005, world champion Joe Hashem. Good luck. You are lucky, my favorite player. We are set to rejoin this final table. Now seven players remain. Hello, I'm Paul Curry, sitting alongside one of the world's best poker players, Daniel Negreanu. There you see Liz Liu having a tough go of it so far. Elki Grispellier has been up and down. And there you see Elki's ex-roommate, Guillaume Patry, still in the thick of it. And one player who's had very little trouble so far is Din Lee. He's been imposing himself on this final table. Will he take home the trophy? And there is our chip count, which he sits atop of. 770,000 in chips. Several players close behind. But for now, let's send it over to our third team member, Erin McNaught. Hello again. There are now only seven remaining. And one of you is on the brink of poker history as the first ever tournament in China will soon have a champion. I wish you all the best of luck. Shuffle up and deal. Thank you, Erin. So here we go. One of these seven players will take home the title, the trophy, and over 200,000 US dollars. Three Koreans left. Three Koreans? One, two, three. Oh. Three. Well, there's one for sure. That's right, Sang Kyung Kim, born and raised in Korea. They speak a better Korean than myself. <laughs> Patry and Grospellier moved to Korea to play StarCraft. Very popular video game. Both of them were very accomplished players. Blinds at 12 and 24,000. StarCraft apparently a game heavy on strategy. Oh, Korean. Koreans, help them, help each other. Grospellier, who was in the big blind, asking his Korean friends to fold. And they oblige. Action over to Ivan Tan with Ace Reeves. Queen off suit, and he says raise. Doesn't look like the guy from Singapore is going to follow suit. He's not going to oblige with that. He's not going to listen to Elki just because he's begging for everyone to <laughs> fold. <laughs> and Tan raises to 77,000. Pretty good sized raise here. Over to Elki now. Queen Jack of Diamonds. And reaches for chips. Well, certainly a hand good enough to see a flop with, especially when you've already got... A raise. Wow. He's going to raise it. Elki now counting out some chips. Pretty aggressive play here. Looks like he's going to raise, yeah. Makes it 120,000 more. So 10 now, decision time. He's put 77,000 in already. 120,000 more. Ace-Queen, a very difficult hand to play. Oh. He is going to call. So a big pot brewing here. Elki will have to act first after the flop, so Tan has position, and he also has the best hand. And here is the flop. It is queen, 8-5. Well, and a dangerous flop it is. Elki has top pair with a jack kicker, but Tan has queens with an ace kicker. Elki has to go first. I would imagine he'd have to bet here. No! Wow, he's going to check. He's going to set the trap. Looks like he wants to go for the check raise on the flop here. Expecting Tan to bet. Slow playing his top pair. But Tan has the best hand. And Tan bets 210,000. Now we see what Elki has planned. Big trouble for Elki here. He checked the flop, looking for some action. Tan bet. What Elki doesn't know, of course, is that Tan has him beat, has him dominated. As you can see, just 13% chance to win. He would have to catch a jack or running straight cards. 
This could be trouble. Wow! And Elkie lets it go. An amazing read. That is an incredible laydown in this type of situation. To re-raise before the flop and then check fold on the flop. That might be one of the greatest reads I've ever seen. I'm totally impressed by Elkie's play there and did it so nonchalantly. You know what? I'm going to have to start taking up that StarCraft stuff. These kids are good. <laughs> Grospelier clearly knows how to play this game as well. Hello again, everyone, alongside Daniel Negranu. I'm Paul Curry, and Daniel, what a final table it's been so far. Nothing has gone according to script, and now everyone is asking themselves one very important question. Who is Din Lee? Well, Din Lee has been playing aggressive, absolutely fearless poker so far, and this table seems downright scared of him. But Lee admitted that he bluffs way too much, and if Graspellier, Petri, or anyone else picks up a hand against him, well, things could change very quickly. And there is Din Lee, who's been a little quiet of late, the concert promoter, but I'm thinking that that won't be for too long. <laughs> Action on Liz Liu right now. Blinds are 12 and 24,000. She sees a six offsuit and moves her chips into the middle of the pot. This is a no-brainer play. She's very short on chips, picks up an ace, has to go all in. Very short on chips. Over to Din Lee. Picks up a three offsuit. He's in the small blind. Remember now, the blinds, the small and big blind are four spets. They help to induce action. He lets it go, and now in the big blind, Guillaume Patry picks up seven deuce off suit. That's considered the worst starting hand you can get in Texas Hold'em, but in this situation, he's already in the